Hey guys, just want to do a quick video on um, my dragon fruit that is now indoors. Um, it's been indoors for a while. We got some snow and then um, the snow melted and it warmed up a little bit, but it's still pretty cold. Uh, would not want this guy to be outside, but um, you can see it's doing pretty well. It's all of a sudden putting out a whole lot of aerial roots. That's because it's growing quite uh, tall and it's um, growing long and skinny. When your plants do this, um, it's a clear indication that there's not enough sunlight. You can see especially this one, give you guys some scale to see, to, you know, see how, how big it is. It's quite skinny, especially this part right here. Um, just wanted to go over some things that you could do and what to expect when you have your dragon fruit indoors. I've seen a lot of people who are growing um, dragon fruit and most of their growth is like this. This is not the type of growth that you want. Um, you're probably not gonna get fruit from um, something so small. I usually leave these until, um, until spring when I bring it out and then I will um, cut them all off. But some of these have gotten so long and have been pointing uh, sticking out all over the place and it's kind of hard walking by so you've got to you've got to cut some of them um, I just want to show you how to cut them and um, I mean I think it's pretty easy just to take these to it but uh, what you want to do is kind of plan ahead um, I want to show you this one here that I have cut already you can see that there's new growth uh, coming up the tip there. Sorry about the focus. Um, trying to mess around with the settings here to get you guys enough light. But you can kind of see that, um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a new uh, bud coming out right there where I cut it. The reason why I didn't cut this all the way back here is because I don't want to waste these buds right now because it's going to come out and it's going to be really skinny anyways. So I left a section here and I cut it back so that the new skinny growth can start here and I'm just going to end up cutting this whole thing back in the spring anyways. So for these if you know you're pruning for um, you know just to remove height you can see this one is way up there. I mean almost up clear to the ceiling about three feet long so um, right now I can take this off right here and then the new, the new growth would start you know down here and then I can still cut it um, at the base so with this trellis here I want you know all the branches to start branching out right above um, this section so that's why this was cut in the um, summer and then you you see there's a new branch here here and here and that's kind of what you want um, to maximize your your branches up top here and when it droops down that's when you'll get your um, flowers and fruit so you know looking at these that's what you kind of want to do you see this one is cut I left a little section so that new growth can grow out of this um, skinny section and then I'll just end up cutting um, this one back to about here so it can branch out um, for these that are touching the window I'll probably do the same I can probably snip it right here I'm just gonna let it drop I'm just going to grab that. You definitely want to be careful because these aerial roots can definitely take a hold of your wood trim and your wall um, and can damage your wall. So you want to keep that away from there. So you can kind of see this one also. Just cut that. Just make sure it's staying away from your wall. You can see some of these roots are getting quite close here. And these roots are pretty strong. If we look uh, down here, I don't know which section it's in. Um, maybe it's not on this plant, but one of the roots came all the way down and, and actually uh, grew through the body of another plant, so it can get pretty. Um, could penetrate pretty well so 
that's not something you want for your um, walls and you know windows so um, these are these aerial roots are harmless they're just trying to um, find support for the the tall growth as you can see that is you know all the way up there so um, yeah that's just a short video on um, how to control your dragon fruit and what to do with all of this long uh, skinny growth that um, you know it puts on during the winter months it's not st stuff that you want to keep in the plant so I mean let it grow and then in the spring I would I'd chop it all off and then wherever you want it to branch um, that's kind of where you want uh, where, where you would want to cut it so um, yeah that's all I have for you if you have any questions uh, Leave a comment in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer them.